Yeah, that's right, Andrea. Comcast says it has seen an uptick in vandalism cases like the one over the weekend. It says it's invested $20 billion in its national network, not only to increase speeds and capacity, but also ways to slow down thieves and vandals. Xfinity and Comcast crews worked round the clock Saturday night into Sunday to fix the damage from vandals. We're seeing a lot of incidences where they're cutting into our lines, which is extremely unsafe. Cutting the fiber optics lines means cutting off internet service to customers. Comcast California Senior Network Director Stephen Belusi says they're trying to figure out why vandals are targeting their lines. We don't see any value. They're, they're not finding any value because they're not doing anything with it other than they're cutting into it looking for something that they're probably not finding. Metal and scrap yards have come down on copper wire thieves in the past decade, but there is no copper in fiber optics. Beluzzi says it's made up of a form of glass. From what we see, you know, they're cutting into lines. Uh, it, you know, I, I, they don't appear to be educated on what they're cutting. Most folks aren't. Lucy says besides damaging the expensive infrastructure, this type of vandalism is dangerous. You don't know what you're cutting into when you're just cutting into these lines. So it, that there's there's a lot of different things that could go wrong, you know, when you when you have uh, any form of power involved. Comcast says crews also work proactively. When not repairing a line, they're looking for security flaws. We have crews all over you know, getting ahead, trying to look for any loose ends that we have under our immediate control that we can secure um, and just make sure it's not easy for anybody just to open up and access equipment. Yeah, and Comcast says it understands customers are frustrated with the length of time it does take for those repairs. But uh, Beluzzi says when dealing with vandalism, they have to wait first for law enforcement to do its investigation and then get a safety clear before crews can actually get in and start tackling the repairs. Now, we should also point out there was a second Xfinity Internet outage in the same area around the same time Saturday night from a car crashing in a utility pole that was carrying Comcast fiber optic lines.